let's uh, let's move to a sphere. You know, this kind of low poly effect that's all over the web these days is one of my favorite things. I really just can't quite get enough of it. Um, so let's take a look at how we might do that. So we've got a, a sphere here to get started, and we've got a noise sop that it's attached to. Now I'm going to go ahead and head over to our translate parameter. I'm going to turn that off so it's not moving. And after that, uh, I need to change one thing here for this to really look the way that I want it to. Uh, I've got to come back to my sphere here, and I need to change this from being a mesh to being a polygon. Now that doesn't look quite as exciting. If I hit the A key and the W key, I can see what the wireframe for that looks like. A for viewer active. I'm going to just toggle that on and off. Uh, and in this case, let's go ahead and attach a facet sop. Now this doesn't look so exciting right out the gate, but if I turn on this flag for unique points and also turn on this flag for compute normals, now we get to see how we've turned each of those individual uh, pieces, right? Uh, each of those individual faces into something that's got a normal that's associated with it. Um, and that gives us some of that kind of low poly goodness that is so fun and exciting. Let's go ahead and attach that to a null. And we'll kind of move this over here, right?